defamation, for libel, for invasion of privacy. Uh, today, my law office has received a bomb threat just because of my representation of the kids in Covington. Uh, it will not deter us in any way, shape, or form. This is what has been unleashed by the establishment press, allowing the lies and libels to be told about these innocent kids. Have you given notice to media outlets and individual reporters, or is, <laughs> is this it? Is this your calling card? The, uh, well, I did it publicly today on, uh, on nationalized television, but I've also been doing it directly to individual reporters, individual celebrities, individual commentators, affording them the opportunity. And to their credit, some have. Congresswoman Omar retracted her statements today, deleted her tweets that had false information in them. Others, Jake Tapper before, has also done so. Kara Swisher did it before then. So I'm hopeful that more people will do, will do it. About half the people that we've requested to do it have done it, but there are some people out there that refuse to. And if they continue to refuse to and act malevolently towards these innocent kids who are giving them the opportunity of grace, uh, an opportunity of redemption through confession, of retraction of their false statements, if they continue to go on anyway, then the only remedy is uh, to What's up, everyone? I'm Rick Knight. Welcome back to another video here at The Bad Philosopher. So that was uh, trial attorney Robert Barnes from Barnes Law. Uh, I believe he is he has a law firm out in Las Vegas. He is representing the kid Nick uh, Sandman f and some of his friends from the Covington Catholic School out in Kentucky. Um, as you know, that was the uh, uh, students that were at the March for Life protest in Washington, D.C. at the Lincoln Memorial when they were approached by the Native American man beating the drum, um, and this made national headline news. Uh, they defamed these kids as the aggressor and said that they surrounded the man and uh, uh, were blocking his entrance and they were harassing him. And um, uh, the media ignored the fact that the black Israelites were there shouting all kinds of racial slurs at not only the kids, but there was also uh, reports. I don't know if any of the reports uh, are true that they also were hurling slurs at the Native Americans that were also there that were in protest. Um, now, in a video I made uh, yesterday, I believe I put up, uh, uh, or the day before yesterday about this event, I said that Nathan Phillips, the Native American man that was there playing the drums, the one who was the so-called victim, was a Vietnam vet, and as it turns out, that he wasn't, he was in the military, but not did not serve uh, 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 in Vietnam. He didn't go to to Vietnam to to fight. Um, I still uh, uh, um, I still thank him for his service anyway, regardless. Um, now, Robert bon uh, Bonds has issued a warning to everyone involved in spreading uh, fake news about the event that they will be subject to a lawsuit for defamation of character, uh, for liability, and for, uh, uh, for other, uh, um, other offenses on their part. Uh, you heard it from his mouth um, where... Uh, Jake Tapper and, and even some politicians had to retract what they said. So this is where we're at, where politicians and news journalists who you would think would do the best they can to give the proper information to people and not jump to conclusion and try to verify their stories uh, before they tweet stuff and before they put stuff out there, uh, rush to conclusion and they, they, you know, they, they spout nonsense, uh, uh, falsehoods and lies and fake news and, and propaganda. And only after, you know, the truth comes out and now they're being threatened to sue that they had to back up and they had to retract their story and delete their account. Uh, according to attorney Barnes, uh, roughly half of the people um, who who promoted these these this propaganda and this fake uh, this fake news story uh, retracted their statement and deleted it and and maybe and and offered an apology, but the other half didn't, uh, and he will be seeking to sue them. He is working pro bono on behalf of the kids uh, because he wants to stand up for what's right. Uh, you know, th this is the thing about it. You know. All you have to do in this country nowadays is wear a Trump hat, just support Trump, and you are automatically branded as guilty no matter what. Just for existing, just for being alive and breathing air, you are guilty of something just because you support President Trump. There was also a, a protest outside the school. They had to shut the school down for a couple of days because of a, of a small protest where people were uh, uh, very, very, very angry. As we know that there's been death threats, not only a bomb threat to the lawyer's office, but also uh, threats to the kids and people trying to dox them. And uh, the, the, the protest, uh, you hear it from one of the protesters, she 
it says that uh, any Trump supporter represents hate. They represent Trump and he represents hate. So it is a symbol of hate and, and, and racism and white supremacy and all that stuff. So they have a set in their mind that if you support our president, you are a white supremacist. So I have President Trump on the wall right over here, which would make me a white supremacist. Uh, and a Nazi and all these things, even though I am of Jewish descent and I have biracial children, uh, but that will still uh, 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 count as me being a white supremacist for supporting our president. Um, this is insane. This is delusional thinking on the left. And once again, they have shown who they truly are. This is the reason I walked away from the left a couple years ago. This is the reason why a lot of people are walking away from the left and we need to walk uh, uh, even faster away from them and, and get as far away as we possibly can. These are people who are delusional. Um, you know, these kids are 15 and 16 years old and uh, they've been, you know, having death threats sent to them, people threatening to dox them. These are children. These are minors threatening harm to kids is what the left is doing and it's perfectly fine. Um, but they're the first to stand up and beat on their chest and, and, and they're all about the safety of children and yet it's perfectly fine to threaten these kids with violence all because they were wearing a Make America ha Great Again hat on. Um, and all because of this uh, video that already has been debunked and the kids uh, have already been proven to not do anything wrong. This kid's crime was just standing there and um, and smiling. That's all he was doing. He was standing there and smiling. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's complete insanity on the part of the left. This is the game they're playing. And I think it's time that we stop apologizing to them. I think it's time that we, we, we stop bending over backwards to keep them happy it, it's time that we we stop trying to avoid confrontation with them it is time we stand up and we let them know we do not play by their rules we are not on their side we are not liberals we do not have to hold to their social norms we do not have to bow down to their their, their religion of social justice we, we do not have to kowtow to them in any way shape or form we need to stand up and say the hell with you we are going to do what we want say what we want act the way we want behave the way we want we don't care about any of your 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 rules we don't care about your you know your, your 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 the new social norms that you're trying to create we don't care how you feel we don't care about your feelings and enough is enough these are children they didn't do anything wrong but because they are of the wrong skin color and because they support the president they will automatically be branded as evil and wrongdoers when that's just not the case um so there you have it hopefully uh robert Bonds. I mean, you'll never see this video. You'll never know who I am. But I say, uh, uh, don't issue them any warning. Just go on the offensive. Go on the attack. File your lawsuits. Sue as many people as you possibly can. Um, destroy the credibility of as many journalists and politicians and celebrities as you possibly can over this story. Do not give them any warning. Uh, do not give them a chance to apologize. Do not give them a chance to delete their accounts and, and to backtrack. Uh, uh, I say that you go after them immediately and put them in their place and take money out of their pocket and uh, uh, um, give it to these children who are the ones who are the victims of all of this. Uh, the Native American man was not the victim. The racist hate group that the Israelites are that were there are not the victims. The true victims are the these teenage boys who uh, who are accused of wrongdoing just for being white, being Catholic, and wearing a. A, a, a Trump hat. That's really what they're guilty of. Let's be real. Let's be honest. This is exactly what they're guilty at. I don't see anyone in the left calling out the Israelites that were there screaming racial slurs towards the white kids, which is which is caught on the video. And they also uh, use the word faggot on the video. Um, no one is calling them out on the left. No one is calling them homophobic. No one is calling them racist. No one is telling them that these were children you were talking to. These were teenage boys you were talking to. No one is calling them out on that. Instead, people are still angry at the kids. They're ignoring the fact that the Israelites were there spouting hate. Uh, they're ignoring the fact that this Native, Native American man approached the kids and was in the kid's face beating a drum. And all the kid would do is stand there and smiling. Yes, he, the kid had a very... Uh, 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 obnoxious look on his face. That's the way most of us perceive it when you see the video at first hand. He looks like he has a very smug look on his face standing there smiling and that's what he's guilty of. Just standing there smiling. That's his big crime. Just stand there, smile, be white, be Catholic, wearing a, a red Trump hat while you're at a March for Life uh, uh, rally. But
But you know, what could you say about the, uh, the the party on the left? You know, they they kill babies. They're into abortions. They love it. They they think it's great. They they would love to uh, allow abortions up to you know the the you know a second before birth. So they really don't care about human lives. The only human lives they care about is any human lives that will spout the narrative that comes out of their mouth. Um, if you're not on their side, they want you dead. They want your house burned to the ground, your family in it, and want to kick your puppy. So enough with these clowns already, and it's time to put a foot in the left's ass once and for all. Um, and that's it. Anyway, there'll be a description to the video I just played in the uh, in the. Uh, there'll be a link to the script to to the video in the description. Um, and that's it. Hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, hit whatever the hell you want. Hit a liberal. That'll be the best thing you could do. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.